Sean Foley here at the Foley Performance Academy with one of our students, Robin Wong. And what we're going to do is talk a little bit about the story and narrative that people get into their head. I use data and analytics to look at what my players do in order to create better practice systems in order for us to improve. And a lot of times what happens is that we have an unrealistic idea of what good is. So from eight feet on the PGA Tour on a dead straight putt, the average of made putts is 42%. So they're making 42 out of 100. So the reason that this is important to understand is because if you've went ahead and missed three putts from eight feet in the first five holes, and you think you can't make, a, you can't make an eight footer, at that point, I see people starting to work on their stroke, even changing their grip, or start taking more time reading it from too many places. But what you have to know is that if you practice in a competent way, you practice in a proper way, if you can make 42 out of 100, that's great. So if you miss the first four in a row, you know over the next six that you're gonna have a stretch where you're gonna make some. So as it goes in life and golf, people have good breaks and bad breaks. I'm 42 years of age, and I'm here to tell you that they even out over time. So you can have three good breaks three days in a row and then feel like you have a week of bad breaks. But when you look at it all, kind of in a meta way after the fact, you'll see that good breaks and bad breaks kind of even themselves out. So what we're gonna do is I have seven putts here. I've measured them all to about eight feet. As you can see, every single one of them is different. When I go to a putting green, I see people, and I don't mind this if you're working on stroke mechanics, but. There's a chalk line on the ground, the player makes 100 putts, it's a dead straight putt, goes on the course, misses a six footer and says, coach, I can't take it from the practice green to the golf course. But the fact of the matter is he doesn't have one straight putt at all when he's playing on the golf course. So we need to create variability and we need to have accessibility into our creativity to be able to remember how much putt breaks and the feel and the pace and the speed. So every one of these putts are gonna go the same distance, but they're all gonna to have to be hit slightly different because some are on a flat, some are breaking, some are downhill, some are slightly uphill. So Robin, show us what you got. Okay, so we missed that one, little low right. Now in the ideal world, guys, when you would work on this, you would go completely through your routine. So you would read it, you would take a look at it, you'd go through the whole process. Okay, and again, my friend. Remember guys, this is an eight foot putt. The only way to be really terrible at it is to really try and think and overthink it. Okay, I thought that was a good putt. And remember, you're gonna hit good putts that don't go on the hole. The thing is, it's easy to hit a good putt, it's hard to make putts, because once that ball starts rolling, you have no control of its destiny. The best thing you can do is just hit a solid putt. Okay, I thought that was a good putt too. Okay, excellent. And that's the thing, guys. I thought the last three putts were all hit beautifully and the first two missed. So just because it misses doesn't mean it's a bad putt. Okay, and last one. So right now, we're three out of six, so we're at 50%. So Robin is now, at this point, putting at a better rate than the average player on the PGA Tour.
Okay, so he ended up being three out of seven. That's exactly 43, 43%. On tour, the average is 42%. So if you're able to make three out of seven eight footers, you have no need to think that you're a terrible putter. And you wouldn't imagine at 30 feet, I see players get up at 30 feet and they hit a putt and they go like this and then it misses and they sit there and they read the break again. At 30 feet, you're gonna make less than 3%. So outside of 15 feet, your ultimate goal is to two putt. You may have days where you make 10 of those, but those days are few and far between. Remember, two putt is not a bad thing. So when you're putting, pay attention to giving yourself a bunch of different looks and then keep track of how you're putting because the problem is when we get on the golf course and we fail, we think that we're not able to take it from here to here. But if you practice this way, you'll see that you don't really make 10 in a row when you practice this way. So part of the reason that practice affects people in a negative way is it because it gives them an, an, a misunderstanding of their skill set. Practicing like this gives you more of a realistic understanding of who you are and then when you're on the course, because you understand the reality and you understand the probability, you're gonna be a lot less emotional. The less emotional you can be, the more logical you'll be. The more logical you'll be, the less mistakes that you'll make.